on the couch. You're closer. <laughs> Fine, fat ass, I'll check it. You know how lazy you are, right? I love you too, bitch. Ugh, can she just get her ass over here? I'm about to flip a shit. Oh, and I messaged the SAT tutor guy about the, the thing, the SAT prep, and he said there's a waiting list, but like I know it won't be more than like 500 get, to get her bumped up, so that'll be easy. Maisie, 17 ways to have mind-blowing makeup sex without even having a fight. <gasps> what does that even mean? <laughs> Maze, I still don't get why we can't just get Gloria to get it. They put without even having a fight in parentheses, like it's the least important factor. <laughs> I mean, I know that's an intentional choice, but they're not coming off as funny. It just looks dumb. <gasps> Lols. Can you answer me? <laughs> Can you answer me, bitch? Please. Gloria's my fucking babysitter, dumbass. How are you gonna ask her to go get that stuff for you and not expect her to tell your parents? I'm not scared of my parents. <gasps> everyone, everyone else in the world is. Did you not read that Forbes profile last month? Oh, great daughter of his. Whatever. You know what you are, Dylan Cohen? You're a lugubrious, milk-livered, flat dragon. I lost two pounds yesterday at spin class. Dylan, first of all, are you not going to appreciate my Shakespearean insult? <laughs> Second of all, if everything goes right, you're about to put on like a thousand tons, so calm the fuck down. Yeah, but my boobs will get bigger. <gasps> Flap dragon. <laughs> Send her up, please. Dylan, be cool. Okay? Okay. <gasps> Naomi! Hi, Lazy. Hey! Dylan? Naomi, darling! <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, nothing. Chilling, reading Cosmo. Hey, do you know 17 ways to have mind-blowing makeup sex without even having a fight? Uh, nope. Cosmo does. So where did you come from? I mean, like, I hope it didn't take you long to get here. My driver was late this morning. He said traffic was crazy. I took the train. Oh. Where do you live again, Naomi? 143rd in Linux. <laughs> Streets go up that high? Well, yeah. So do you guys want to go to the Perry sources first? I got some great flashcards. Also, thank you for inviting me over. Um, you said something about that SAT tutor in the email? Oh, actually, Naomi, Dylan, <laughs> not yet. Um, do you want anything, Naomi? We have some Pellegrino in the fridge, or if you're hungry for lunch, we can send Gloria over to Rome and get us a pie. Mm -hmm. I'm good, thanks. Okay, cool, well, if you want to get started, then we can. Oh, do you mind if we go over the midterm stuff first? Global policy is kind of my thing. <laughs> Maisie's the head of mine. Mine? Model UN? Oh, oh yeah, right. I think I knew that, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to go to our school for three years by now and never heard of one. <laughs> right. Sorry. It's uh. cool. I like your bag. Do you want it? Oh, oh no, I, I was just... No, for seriously. Take it. Design is a family friend. I've got loads but this is a Chanel bag. I'm sure you have tons of bags, Naomi. Chanel, Gucci, Balenciaga. Dylan, hey bloody arsehole, shut up. Don't you think British insults are way better than American ones? I mean, what would have happened to you for you to have a bloody arsehole anyway? Exploding <laughs> hemorrhoids. Dylan, you're an exploding hemorrhoid. Whatever. <laughs> so, global policy? Mace, why don't we just tell her? <laughs> Dylan, tell me what? Well, Naomi, um, you have gorgeous hair, by the way. <laughs> I've been going out with Cortland Elliman for about seven months now. I know. <laughs> right. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, oh my god, this is so surreal. We got Mace, just say it. I'm, I'm with child. <laughs> oh my god, I had heard something like that, but I didn't think it was true. Wait, what did you hear? Who told you? Oh my god!
God, was it Madison Darby? Because I swear to God, I will crucify that bitch. She is a total fucking psychopath. I was hanging out with her yesterday, and she said that she hewed with, um, who's the one who plays lacrosse for St. David's. Oh, I know, you're not the one with the glass eye. Uh, no, actually, I think it was Arya who told me. Which one? Um, Arya F? Which one? Okay, I don't remember, but Maze, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's, wow. Okay, well, round two of the big news. Dylan might be too. Oh <laughs> Pregnant. Pregnant, I mean. <laughs> okay, I know this might not help anything at all, but my sister got pregnant when she was 17 and she was able to do all right for herself. I mean, my nephew's three now, but. Wait, wait, how did this happen? <laughs> um, I poked holes in the condoms. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? God, what a question. Um, how do I say this? Okay, it's like this. When you're young, like we are, and you're girls, like we are, it's like they act like we can't do anything. But we can do everything. Do you know what we can do, Naomi? What? We can create life. We can bring something into existence. Isn't that the most insane thing you have ever heard? <laughs> We've been walking around all this time, not even thinking about, not even acknowledging that we have the power to create a human being, give it air and body and soul. How is that even possible? We eat and sleep and kill ourselves over midterms and mess around with our boyfriends and watch The Bachelor and shit and sneeze and eat aroma. And all the while, we have this power within us, this essential, fundamental power. We can create life. Naomi, we're doing it right now. We are in the process of it this minute. Is I am building a human being. Isn't that amazing? I am building a human being, a baby. Dylan and I, we just thought, we can do that. <laughs> My dad always says, if you can do, you should do. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Her dad is super influential. My mom, too. God, Dylan, feminism. Amazing. I mean, what's going to happen to that kid? Do you even know how much responsibility it is to raise a child? I mean, what about college? Uh, OK. <laughs> First off, we're still going to college. <laughs> it's like, it's like, OK. Um, when we're off at school, her Yale, me Cornell, um, our babysitters will take care of the kids just like they took care of us. Then, once we're out of school, I'll start at Goldman Sachs with my dad and she'll be at Chase with her mom who will eventually have to give up the presidency to her. Don't worry, you've given us a lot of thought. <laughs> it's like a social experiment also. We can write our college apps on it. We'll be pioneers. We'll write a book at it and then we'll get a reality show. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Why am I here? Oh, well that's the thing. The Upper East Side is super duper small. <laughs> and everyone around here knows me. Like just today, oh, when I was getting out of the car, Aria F. Small. <laughs> Which one? Aria F. Ferrer. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, she stopped and talked to me about my PSAT scores because obviously she was like worried that her precious little angel scored a percentage of zero. <laughs> Anyways, this neighborhood talks. One little slip up and you're on everyone in their mom's blogs. Plus, New York prep problems has a post at your expense. Like a mean one, it's literal hell. So obviously Dylan can't just walk into a Dwayne Reed and buy a pregnancy test. And since we know you live in like Harlem or whatever, <laughs> we just thought that you could go downstairs and to the pharmacy and pick one up for us. We'll give you the money and stuff here. So you asked me to come here to give you a pregnancy test. We just think the pharmacist will let you buy one. Like if we do it, it would be kind of weird. But if you go in and do it, it's normal. Well, you said it, not me. OK, is it because I'm poor or because I'm Dominican? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why are you bringing that up? This has nothing to do with that. Yeah, you're seriously overreacting. This obviously has something to do with that. Naomi, didn't you just say that your sister had a baby at 17? And I bet that one wasn't for a social experiment. So you obviously have experience with this kind of stuff. You know what? Fuck you. Okay, that was seriously uncalled for. I'm leaving. You know what?
know, tutors disregard wait lists if you tip them the right amount. I'll pay you. How much? However much you need. How much do you think it costs? Three hundred dollars? <laughs> Five hundred. Aren't you going to say thank you? Gracias. Thank you. Yeah. We'll give you the money when you come back with the test. She'll be back in five minutes. 